I'd like to start first with telling you a little bit about the history of the courthouse. It was designed by Frank Milburn. Construction began in 1904 and was completed in 1905. The first murder trial began in July of 1905 and the last murder trial concluded the same week that those offices began moving into the new building, the judicial complex that's connected to this building. The structure has had several facelifts over the years. Some of you may have been a part of that process. Some of our committee was involved. And the facility was also listed on the National Registry of Historic Places in 1990. So the historical preservation of the historical courthouse through this process is extremely important. There are some considerations as you think through your proposals. Um, first of all, the initial budget is two million and plus seven allocations. Um, it is important, as I stated, to maintain the historical character of the building. There is some additional maintenance that needs to be done. Uh, we need a new HVAC. There's some marble work. Some of the stairs are loose. Some of them have broken. We have windows that need to be replaced. Of course, where the annex was torn off and there's a hole there that's just been covered. We need a, a solution to that. And there's some general cleaning that needs to happen. There are three floors in the basement in the courthouse. Um, the first floor that most of you would be familiar with housed the magistrate court, the state court, and the probate court when we moved out, and that's approximately 6,500 6, square feet. Um, we have a second floor, and as Judge McLean said, uh, that is a, the courtroom that has been renovated and is still functional, so that would be maintained as is. That doesn't mean that there's not other purposes that that could be used for. It just means that we can't change the character or the technology in that room so that if we needed to turn it around right away before a trial, we could do so. It has been used a couple of times um, since we moved into the judicial complex when we had um, some air conditioning issues at the jail. On the third floor, you have a partial floor with some office space. That's 2,300 square feet heated. Then the basement, to me, is one of the places that takes you back to when the courthouse which was originally built. If you've never been in the basement, if you have an opportunity to do so at some point, it really is a sight to behold. There's parts of that that has the original dirt floors, some very, very old brickwork, um, some arched doorways down there. It really is a beautiful place. Um, we do have to take into consideration, though, during the renovation and the future use for that area, that we have had flooding there in the past, um, and that it is the most unfinished out part of the building. There are some current uses that occur at the courthouse. As the judge said, the trial's on the second floor. There are still records that are being stored in the historical courthouse. And here's a list of events that you can all look through, and I'm sure many of you have attended um, all, if not part of these um, events, that still take place on the weekends, some of them during the week, during the days. But it is important that we maintain the option for our community to, to continue to experience the cultural history of the courthouse square and what that means as, as far as an anchor for our downtown. I mean, that our community still has the quality of life options that these events um, provide and the space to do so. So we're gonna move right to the process. Um, first, the committee is gathering all of your public input. We'll continue to accept this information through the end of this month. If you were know of someone who was not able to attend one of these meetings or if you have additional information after the fact, you can submit that to my office and it will be included in what's submitted to the entire committee. Um, the committee will then take all those proposals and do some research. Um, they have to make a recommendation to the board of commissioners on what their um, options would be. So that's going to, I'm sure, take some gathering of additional information. They're going to consolidate those findings and then they will present to the Board of Commissioners. The Board of Commissioners will make the final decision on um, the direction that the facility goes in, but it is important that your input is a part of that process. So today, presenters will be heard in the order in which they signed in. I will call through the sign-in list. If you'd like to pass, just say pass and we'll move on to the next person. But we are maintaining your email addresses and your contact information so that if there's a need to have additional meetings or if there's a dissemination of information, you can be included in that process. Um, each presentation is held to 10 minutes. And as I said, additional information can be sent to my, to my office. And please know that all presentations and submitted documents are subject to the Open Records Act. So if no one has any questions, we'll go ahead and move forward. Uh, Paige, before you do that, I just want to recognize Mayor Todd Gale. Mayor Gale, appreciate you coming back today. We know that you're vitally interested uh, with the city in this overall process. So we thank you for showing your interest by attending today. Do well. Thank you, Judge. All right, Paige. Okay, the